So I've probably given this video a quite a clickbaity title, uh, so I apologise for that. But it's a really important video, please watch all the way to the end because uh, there's definitely something I need you to do. <laughs> if you at all possibly can that is. So when I first thought about doing this video it was going to be a really happy thing and uh, it was going to be a good story uh, but it's taken a bit of a turn this morning which I didn't expect but uh, it's made me even more determined to do this and uh, speak about this issue because the person that it affects can't really do that on YouTube right now. So on Saturday morning I did some volunteering for a charity called Crohn's and Colitis UK. They are a charity that helps and supports people with uh, Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis and other uh, inflammatory bowel diseases. An inflammatory bowel disease is basically something which uh, affects your digestive system as you might expect, not necessarily just your bowels. So Crohn's disease can affect your entire uh, digestive system from your throat all the way down through your stomach, esophagus, all the rest of it, uh, and bowels. Uh, whereas ulcerative colitis is only in your colon, which is basically your large intestine and below. With ulcerative colitis, for example, you get ulcers uh, around your colon and large intestine, which means that when you have movements, when you want to poo, basically, uh, it rubs against those ulcers and it's really painful and uh, is really debilitating and actually can actually destroy most of your large intestine. It's a really nasty thing. Uh, I'm glad I don't have it. Somebody who has got ulcerative colitis, however, is Hannah Witten, and I've mentioned her on this channel quite a few times. I am a big fan, as uh, anybody who is a regular viewer of the channel will know. And back in December, Hannah had a massive flare-up of her ulcerative colitis. She was in hospital for three weeks, and in the end, she actually went and had uh, emergency surgery to remove her large intestine, or what was left of it. Now, Hannah made a 25 minute long video about this when she was back out of hospital, so uh, do please go and watch that up there when you can. But for the past four and a half months, Hannah's been in recovery from that surgery, and it's major surgery, uh, so you know, uh, she's been. Uh, getting her strength back uh, and getting her weight back because she lost a lot of weight while she was in hospital. And on Saturday uh, was a fundraiser event for Crohn's and Colitis UK, this charity, where people did 5 and 10k walks and they got sponsored for it. The event on Saturday was here in London and I was free in the morning and I saw they needed volunteers so I thought why not, I'll go along and volunteer. So I signed up um, last week and got an email saying we'd love you to come so I turn up uh, and I'm put on the start and finish line which is fantastic because it means you can wave everybody off, give them high fives, uh, hands out a bottle of water and when they come back you get to hand out the medals which is fantastic. It's, it's a really happy and great day. Oh yes and I got a t-shirt uh, to put on. Uh, there we go. The event was called Walk It hence why it says uh, Crohn's and Colitis walk it. <laughs> and I have to say it was a really well organised event, uh, it was really smooth, uh, I couldn't see any problems with the organisation really at all, um, I, I thought it was one of the, the better charity events that I've uh, been to either, either volunteering or as a participant. And I had a bunch of fun and met a bunch of people who were inspirational because they've uh, been through surgery or they've got ulcerative colitis or Crohn's. And there were about one and a half thousand people that took part in the event. So we sent them off in waves and, uh, you know, they went off and there was no race. You know, they, they just did the walk uh, because, you know, people who have got these uh, conditions, um, especially if they've been recently had surgery, it's not easy for them to go and walk 10 kilometres or 5 kilometres even. One of the big patrons of the charity is uh, Carrie Grant, who you, if you're British you might recognise from Fame Caddy and other BBC shows where she's a vocal coach. And I believe she also has um, one of the IBDs, I think she's got ulcerative colitis as well. So uh, it's been a struggle for her all her life, as well as all the inspirational people at this event. Three of these one and a half thousand people were Hannah and her parents. And they did a 5k walk, um, and this is only about four and a half months after Hannah's surgery. Now I tweeted Hannah saying that I 
was volunteering at the event and she liked the tweet so she knew about it but I wasn't there to see Hannah I was there to support the charity and it was nice if I did see Hannah you know and say hello to her. Now as it happens when Hannah went over the start line she actually saw me and gave me a high five and said hello uh, very quickly before she had to go off and did, do the walk. When she came back I happened to give the medal to her and gave her a hug and say well done and before the end of the event she actually came and found me which you know is fantastic um, and Asked have a great day, and I said I did, and I hope she had a good day as well. And uh, of course, I had already supported her, I'd already sponsored her on her walk, you know. And she went off with her parents, um, and I completely forgot that to take a photo with her, which is to my eternal regret right now, uh, because um, she is back in hospital as of Monday morning. So when Hannah had her surgery uh, back now in January, now. Uh, her lower intestine was removed and detached from her rectum and she's got a what's known as a stoma which is basically her small intestine just poking out through her stomach and there is a allostomy bag on there uh, and she poos into the bag. And it seems what happened on Monday morning is that the stoma's become inactive and she had lots of cramps and she's now in hospital uh, being looked after by the wonderful doctors and nurses of the NHS. She put a, a tweet out this morning, which is Tuesday, and uh, that's all we know right now, and I wouldn't want to pry any further at this stage. It's up to Hannah uh, what she wants to tell us, obviously. Now, Hannah's sponsorship page from Saturday is still open, so here is my plea, and the reason why I wanted to do this video today. And that is, I think that because of Hannah's condition, and I, we all wish her the best, I'm sure, uh, I think it would be great if everybody who uh, can donates money towards Hannah's walk and uh, towards Crohn's and Colitis UK. You can do that, I shall leave a link in the description below. And of course, if you are a UK taxpayer, please also gift aid that donation, that means you have another 20% or 25% even, put on by the taxman at no additional cost to you. If you can't do that, I'm sure Hannah will appreciate uh, all the messages you want to send her. Uh, I shall leave links to Hannah's Twitter and Instagram below as well. I've just been particularly uh, touched by this this time round because not least because I saw Hannah just a few days ago and she looked so well on that day as well and so happy well, from what she was doing. So if you can, please, please support this cause. Uh, it, it means a lot to me and um, it means a lot to Hannah, I'm sure. And if you can, please give what you can. If you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up down below. I make videos every single week, which is a good reason to subscribe. And hopefully I shall see you next time with some better news. Bye-bye.